Welcome to Token Topics. XDC is the topic of this video. We're going to dive into some latest news and see what's going on with the XDC community. It's been a while since I made an XDC video and a lot of great things have been going on with the project such as Quant extending Overledger support to XDC. We're going to go over that topic. Also great news about Impel, a swift messaging alternative that will utilize the XDC network for ISO 2002 transactions. We're going to go over that topic and more. So you definitely want to watch the video all the way to the end. Please do hit the like and subscribe if you like the content. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Invest at your own risk. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. First topic. Now, when it comes to blockchains being built on a project, Zinfin XDC's network really stands out from a lot of other blockchain projects. As you can see, there's a lot of great, solid projects. That's the thing. Is the project solid? You can want to question. There's a couple that's not even mentioned here, which is the Kinesis. I'm going to go over that briefly. It's a gold and silver back token on the Zinfin network. I'm pretty excited about that. A lot of people are saying, oh, you know, precious metals aren't coming back. They're not going to be. Well, it's it's happening. It's rolling out. And we're going to see more and more of that as time goes on. If you've been subscribed to the channel, I have talked about it before, but it's a great topic to go over, especially for newcomers and to remind ourselves really what we hold. So there's a couple projects such as Wadspay that's not mentioned on here. That's huge. Also, the Kinesis, as I just mentioned, and then a lot of great projects that's already mentioned, like the Trade Finex, that's massive right there. That's that's global trade. You also have Block Scans, Metablocks, you have XSwap Protocol, Travala. I mean, the list goes on. And we can see all of the different exchanges that has listed XDC. So we can see it is very much liquid. You can see all the different wallets that support it, including Descent, and look at the Custodian wallets. I've gone over copper quite a bit in previous videos. You can see the network progress. It truly is an impressive blockchain project. It really is. Next topic, let's talk about sustainability. When it comes to sustainability, XDC is at the top. It truly is compared to a lot of other blockchain projects. Now let's, let's compare it to Ethereum and Bitcoin. You compare Bitcoin to XDC and it, it's very energy intensive. As you can see, it's equivalent to the annual energy consumption of a country, Colombia. So is Ethereum, Iceland. Now, how much does XDC use? 7,400 kilowatt hours. That's equivalent to two Tesla Model S EVs. Now, compare that to a country, a nation. Wow, that's massive difference. Now, what does a Tesla Model S consume? Equivalent to two 100 watt incandescent light bulbs. I mean, that's incredible. It even scores better than XRP when it comes to energy consumption, including XLM. Combine that with smart contract capability, it truly is a perfect fit for global trade, which is a massive, massive market. Now for some exciting news. This is great news for XDC ecosystem. Overledger Quant 2.2.8 adds support for XDC network. This is a much needed security protocol to make sure that the networks are stable. So this new version adds API support for XDC's Apotheum test network. All the standard functions in Overledger are now available on XDC Apotheum. Testnet including searching for a transaction monitoring activity on an address and smart contract invoke. Moving forward, now this is a topic I went over before but it's a great topic to go over again. In line with this strategy, Kinesis will first list XDC and XRC20 tokens on the Kinesis exchange, providing XDC holders the ability to trade against precious metal tokens, KAU and KAG, which are fully allocated physical gold and silver backed tokens, which hold real world utility for saving or spending as global currency. Boom. Some people said that gold or silver backed tokens was a myth, but Kinesis is forming the evolution of the gold standard, as they state. Another topic that some people might not have realized is Kinesis Money is a stellar consensus protocol-based global trading and digital asset utility platform. Now, if you've been subscribed to the channel, I've also talked about precious metals backing different tokens on these different blockchains, such as even Stellar and Ripple. I believe that we're going to see that in the future. I really do. We're going to see more projects, more precious metal exchanges opening up. And before you know it, a new standard just snuck up right on us. 
continuing that Kinesis money is an end-to-end -end monetary system based on one-to-one -one on physical gold and silver, and it was founded in 2017. I'm going to put the link to that article down below. Keep in mind that the XCC DAP Summer Hackathon is still going on right now, and we know that great things are going to come about it when it's finished. There's going to be a lot of new information, new ideas, and new things sprouting out from this hackathon. Like some more information i'm going to put the link to this down in the description below the the deadline is july 25th and right now currently there's 244 participants so if you're a coder or programmer or if you know of an it company or whatever you want to get on board i'm going to put the link like i said down below next topic is about impel from blockchain to messaging iso 2022 now there is a swift alternative that will utilize the ISO, so Impel, which is powered by the XDC network, is a fintech innovator that uses blockchain technology to deliver financial messaging, which is the ISO 2022 standard, instant settlement, and a bridge to the R3 Corda platform to future-facing banks and fintechs. Now, if you're new to XDC, you're probably starting to grasp how valuable of an asset this is. It's pretty much out there, plain as day. They are established compared to a lot of these other tokens out there that are kind of iffy projects. XDC is definitely one that you can put your money in and feel safe. You can sleep at night knowing that it's in a real asset that has real world use case. It has data rich features. It's pretty impressive. And a vital part is the fact that it can bridge to R3 Corda, which in return will connect to older legacy systems, which will make this transition easier and smoother for these fintechs and banks. So you just go to this page right here. If you want to test out a transaction, you just fill out this form to access a demo right there. Moving forward, now we know that Impel allows for a bridge to Corda, and there might be some newcomers jumping on board that might not be familiar with Corda. I've mentioned it in a few videos in the past. Corda is an open source enterprise-based blockchain designed to offer interoperability. But here's the unique thing about Corda is that it does not have its own token of value. They've actually chosen XDC as a token of value to be the primary token on that blockchain. Now, does that mean that other uh, assets can be used on Quora? Absolutely, absolutely. But XDC is the preferred token of value. Primarily, what my personal belief is, is because of the smart contract capability. And it's pretty much already set up for global trade. I want to show you this graph here from double X. Now, if somebody says, oh, I don't know if this is really accurate. It is actually accurate. And double X, he's actually won an award for making some of these graphs. Now, are some of them questionable? Some of the projects? Yeah, it could be. But I'm not going to throw out the baby with the bathwater. This is actually an excellent graph that demonstrates and shows people how it works. So Corda really also needs the DASL to link with legacy systems. The older systems, that's kind of like the glue in between. The DASL integrates networks into Corda and tokenizes any type of asset, just as I stated with the old, older legacy systems mainly. It's pretty, for any newcomers to break it down, it's pretty much it's allowing for the old systems to bridge to the new systems. And as you can see there, XDC settlement token for Corda and connected to the XDC with other Cord apps. Through Corda, it has direct uh, links to businesses and institutions, uh, financial institutions. Another nice feature with the DASL, connect to Corda to ERC-20 and XRC-20 tokens, which XRC-20 is acceptable tokens on the Zinfin network. Now moving forward about TradeFinex. So powered by XCC protocol, TradeFinex platform enables peer-to-peer -peer transactions between financiers, suppliers, and beneficiaries. Think of it as a conceptual marketplace platform. TradeFinex connects global participants of trade and finance and enable them for global contracting, financing payments, and settlements. 
It offers a wide range of services from individuals, governments, regulators, financial institutions, corporates, and others. It is a private permission blockchain, which makes it very ideal for global trade uh, because of the security of being a private blockchain. And there's a lot more features to it. Now, moving forward. I've gone over this topic before, but there's a lot of newcomers jumping on board, and it's important to know who Andre Kosterman is when you are an XDC holder. There's no better man that puts the name out for Zinfen and XDC than Andre Kasterman, and there's no better man that has knowledge of global trade and how money moves and all these fintechs and how they all can operate together. He's worked with Swift. He has a lot of experience with Swift, and he has been going around working hard, making sure that the XDC name gets out there and these financial institutions get on board. He's also a non-executive director and advisor of Trade Tech. If you're an XDC holder, I'm sure you understand what that is. I've talked about that on other videos. Moving forward, now this is some news that some people might not want to hear. It's kind of sad, but don't give up hope because there still is good news. It states here that the Federal Reserve delays the ISO 2022 cut over by two years. That's right, the Federal Reserve is lagging behind. I personally think that still anything could happen. Anything could happen. If there's a crisis, they have to move the date forward sooner. Anything could happen. But anyway, let me move forward. The Fed had previously set a deadline of November 2023. A lot of people were expecting that for next year. But don't lose hope because that doesn't mean that November this year that there's not going to be any utility because there is. Keep in mind that that's Fed and CHAPS, I believe that they moved their year to 2023. They were supposed to go live actually this summer. So that was postponed, but we are still on track for November this year with SWIFT. That's right. That is the good news is that they are still on track for November this year to start to utilize the new uh, messaging format. States right here from SWIFT.com official in line with adoption timeline agreed with our community. SWIFT will enable the ISO 2022 messaging for cross-border payments and cash reporting businesses starting from August 2022 on an opt-in basis in November 2022 this year. So we will see some utility. That is great news. Hopefully we will see something reflected on the price of those tokens, those ISO tokens during this time. Beautiful thing about Zinfin Network, they don't have to deal with the SEC like Ripple does because they're outside the United States. They don't have to deal with the stupid laws right now that are in place that it's actually hindering American innovation which is a benefit to XDC holders. Now, my personal opinion, do I believe that XDC is an excellent asset to hold until November this year and see what's going to happen? Absolutely. What would it hurt? Right now, XDC is at a beautiful price. Is there a chance that we could come down a little bit more? Absolutely there is. There's a lot that's going on in the markets right now. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of uncertainty. And as I stated, I like to dollar cost average. But XDC is truly a gem to hold. If you watched the video, you saw all the utility from this token. This blockchain network is excellent. Excellent to hold. Remember that time is running out to buy a decent biometric wallet at an incredible price. Starting July 1st, unfortunately, prices will be going up due to inflation and other reasons. I'm going to put the affiliate links in the description below. I want to say thank you everyone for watching another edition of Token Topics. Go ahead and put your thoughts and your comments down below. I always love to read them. What are your thoughts about the ISO standard in November? What do you think about Fed postponing it? I want to say thank you everyone for watching another edition of Token Topics. You all take care. Stay safe.